Well, hello, good morning. It's just gone 5 a.m. on Wednesday, the 20th of March. It's actually the spring equinox today, so it's a double celebration today. I'm heading out to do my second 300 kilometre DIY Audax of the year. So, the last couple of weeks, the weather's been quite harsh, it's been wet and windy. The first 300 was quite challenging, I got home quite exhausted. But I'm hoping it's going to be a bit of an easier day. So, I'm heading from Bath around the outskirts of Bristol, crossing the Severn Bridge. It's a pretty much a straight out and back course to Landovery at the other side of the Brecon Beacons, having lunch at the West End Cafe. I'm on the bicycle track now, heading towards Bristol. I'm looking at an illusion that I sometimes get coming this way. It looks like dawn is about to break in the west because the cloud cover is breaking just above the horizon and it's reflecting all the artificial light from Bristol. I'm guessing that's what it is. So it actually looks like day breaking in the west. And if you look back east, still pitch black. It's quite an unusual effect and, you know, makes you wonder, did the earth bump into summit during the night and they haven't bothered telling us? So it's now 8.30 and I'm just sat outside the co-op in Ask. I've just been on the road actually, got some donuts and a soft drink from my, one of my favourite bakeries around here. So, making quite good progress, about 42 miles. So, I mentioned in my last video about the big jump I find going from 200 up to 300 kilometres. And after that it seems quite easy, for me anyway. As I've said before, one of the ways I motivate myself on the bike is I calibrate my Garmin to time remaining and distance remaining and with the distance as you start to tire and fatigue the actual amount to go is actually decreasing it just mentally it really does help I'm not sure if it's the case on all the garments but on my Edge 200 I find the distance anything over 100 just registers as two digits so today when I started off it was 188 miles to go but it just registers as 18 so at the moment it says 15 to go so that's 150 something once it gets below 100, 99, 98, etc., you can sort of see the progress every mile. So I find that passing through 100 quite a big sort of goal for me. And on the 200s, I'm normally passing through the 100 miles to go stage within two hours, whereas on a 300, I'm not going to pass up until I almost get to my halfway point at Land Every, so near lunchtime rather than two hours into the ride. That's quite a big difference to cope with. It takes a few rides to get used to that and then it's, I guess it's a bit like driving it. At first everything seems difficult and then all of a sudden it just becomes natural. So a couple more 300s and I'll, I'll acclimatise to that effect. I use a few goalposts, certain mileages to go that sort of I use to motivate myself. And why I do that is because it's been shown that as you achieve goals, the brain releases dopamine, it's a neurochemical which makes you feel good. You'll find it on all that ways. You don't just feel good at the end. You feel good as you start to get to control because you're achieving goals. I mean, it's nature's way of helping you sort of motivate yourself to get some stuff done in effect. But it does come with a warning. It's highly, highly addictive. And some internet companies have been accused of using the thumbs up button or the kudos button to get people addicted, basically, to keep going back their sites. So just treat it with caution, I would say. It's now 11.20 and I'm on the A40 on the other side of Brecon. I've just stopped at this little picnic area at a place called Land Spideth. Just having, uh, charging my Garmin, having a sandwich and uh, some Coke, just to give me a bit of energy. Probably about 18 miles from my lunch stop. Here we are at the West End Cafe at Land Every. I got here about five past one just been in there, had a really nice meal. It was chicken cottage pie with swede, gravy, uh, peas, carrots, really sort of hit the spot. Then ice cream as dessert, so I got my bike outside. There's normally loads and loads of bikers along here at the weekend. This is just all be motorbikes and bikers sat outside. Still quite busy in there for a weekday, so halfway. Heading back that way, pretty much the way I've come. I'm just going to use a bit more of the A40 this direction. It's not normally too bad. So I'll be heading off very shortly. It's about ten past four now. I'm just stopped at Tallybont Stores Post Office Cafe. It's one of my favourite stops. 
turned out to be a gorgeous day, really sunny, very warm. So I'm coming up to about two thirds of the way, so I feel quite good actually, better than the last 300, that's for sure, the, the conditions on that were really quite high. So as I was riding along the A40 earlier on, back from Landovery to Brecon, it reminded me of the last time I was on that road, and it was on the last day of my 1200 kilometre solstice ride last year. And as I came along here, I became convinced that I damaged my frame, it just looked all out of place. And I'm doing this course at the moment, which sort of slightly explains that, because a few hours later I started hallucinating. And they were saying yesterday <laughs> that all the light is gathered as it goes into your eye, and the retina does all the work, it processes pretty much all of it before it turns it into electrical energy and sends it up to the brain. And there's this one piece I was studying last night sort of saying that how we see edges of things is the eye converting that energy into contrasts. For instance, that window ledge behind me, the brain's not really seeing the ledge, it's actually seeing the contrast between the dark bits and the light bits, and then it tells the brain it's an edge. I'm pretty sure, as I was really tired, especially with the hallucinations later on, I'm pretty sure that's what I was starting to go, actually. On that final day of my 1200, the Elan Valley Road was really bumpy. I remember sort of being judded about, and as I came along here, I'm just absolutely convinced, looking down at my frame, it was all out of line. I'm just absolutely convinced. And it explains the hallucinations later on. I sort of knew this already, actually, the energy going from your eyes up to your brain where it perceives an image. And um, when you get really, really tired, those pathways get disturbed, so that sort of accounts for the visual hallucinations. But yeah, all sort of bits of juice all were falling into place last night. So I'm just crossing the River Usk, leaving the B Road that I've taken from Brecon down to near Crickhow. I'm heading up into Crickhow. I love coming across here. Then at the top of this hill, I'll turn right, short stretch of the A40 into Abergavenny. Look at the scenery, it's gorgeous. 7.30 pm now, and I'm in a bus shelter at the top of the summit on the road between Usk and Chepstow. So I'm just about to plunge down to Chepstow. Then it'd be across the Seven Bridge, up to the A38, and then pretty much downhill mostly to home. I stopped at Usk just to have a snack. I also gave Linda a phone call just to give her an update on my estimated time home. At the time it was about 10pm, but I did tell her about 10.30 just to allow for stops like this and that snack. I feel a lot, lot fresher than I did two weeks ago on my 300. The conditions have been just so much easier today. As I came out of Usk, I looked behind me and there was this gorgeous blood red sunset and then in front of me there was a really big full moon rising above the horizon, about 10-15 degrees above the horizon and it always looks massive when it's close to the horizon, it, it looked extra massive tonight and then as it started to darken the colours became spectacular and I did consider stopping to take pictures. Sometimes I, I want to take lots of pictures, other times like today I just didn't, I just wanted to savour it, but it was absolutely stunning the colours. It still is now up here, even though it's darkish, there's still a little bit of sunset over in the west. So head down now, when I get to the Seven Bridge it's about two hours to home. 10.30 and I've just got back into Bath, I'm at the start finish of the Bath to Bristol cycle track on Brassmoor Lane. So I'm about a mile and a half from home. It's been a fantastic day. The weather's been superb all day. Just after the sun went down, I started feeling a little bit chilly. And then I was even lucky then because the clouds have come over to keep all the heat in. It feels very mild now. I'm going to sign off here as usual. Thanks very much for watching and till next time.